ladies, my name is Trisha Naiman and I am coming at you from Ohio. And my tip for you today is some of the things that I talk about at my home party with the guests and some of the different ideas I have with the jewelry. So this is my entire jewelry display. And just so you know, when I first started, I started off with the 499 kit. So a little over a year later, this is what I've accumulated and it's super exciting. But just know that for your table, some suggestions to build it up and give it a little bit more filler. You can grab knickknacks from your home or you can actually even put pictures of the jewelry out on your table. So I do suggest doing that. So as women approach my table, I do want them to just feel very comfortable in trying anything on that they'd like. And just to give them some general information about Grace and Heart Jewelry, because most of them have never heard about it before. So I say Grace and Heart Jewelry is a brand new company out of Santa Barbara, California. They opened in May of 2015. The jewelry is 0.925 sterling silver and it is handcrafted by artisans from all over the world. Stones and gems are authentic and you're going to look through our collection and see fabulous stones um, such as Labradorite and Mother of Pearl and Green Amethyst and the list can go on and on. And we also feature Swarovski crystals. So I um, talk to them a little bit about that and let them peruse. And as they're looking around, um, I may just pick up the Lariat and say, this is our Lariat bracelet and I share it with you because it's one of our best sellers. And I think that reason is you can wear it two different ways. You can wear it double wrapped on your wrist and add charms to tell your story. Or you can also open this up and use it as a choker, which we all know right now is super on trend. And they come in four colors and two sizes, so we have one for everyone. So that um, I think is something great to share. I also tell them to keep on the lookout. There's different things that you may not notice at first, like our illusion ring. It's Labradorite on one side and then it's Mother of Pearl on the other. And um, it gets them the idea of looking through the catalog maybe and paying a little bit more close attention, like what else is in here to find. Like this piece here from our Nightfall collection, it's black onyx. And then on the flip side of that, we have the Mother of Pearl. And it's just encased fabulously in the oxidized sterling silver. So I like to share that with them. I talked a little bit too about shiny versus oxidized because a lot of people who aren't familiar with silver don't understand that that's done on purpose. That is an application that we do. So you've got your shiny and your oxidized. And I give them just a couple examples of that. I'll just pick them up from the table and maybe share that with them. Um, and why the process is done to give the different pieces some dimension um, and just a different flair. And then also, I like to talk to them too about how to wear an arm party. This bare arm just won't do, will it? So um, our brand new ripple bracelet is a great one to share. Um, I always think that if you have a bangle and a cuff and a soft piece, you've got a good start for an arm party. But because it's my arm, I actually do more than that, usually much more than that. And anyway, so there you go. And notice too, the ripple bangle, it's not gonna go anywhere because it has a grounding piece. And typically one piece, like a cup, could be used for that too, if you don't prefer that much on that particular wrist. So just a suggestion with some of you who might have some small wrists for your ripple bangle. I also like to share with folks too about how different pieces can be worn. And this is the Chantilly necklace, which we know was just recently released. And the beautiful thing about this piece is how it was made. And it was dipped in, first it's an electroform um, piece underneath this that was dipped into pure silver multiple times. This is, this is a very high-end piece. Um, and it is pure silver on this, on this piece. And that's what's giving it this beautiful shine. So as far as the necklace goes, it comes on the black cord, leather cord with the pendant. But the two come apart and you can wear the leather cord on its own or with another pendant. And I like to put the pendant on this long piece as well. They may already have something at home or they may want to look through our different collection of um, longer necklaces to see if that's something that may interest them. But just to show them the flexibility. And then I kind of set up in each tray a look. Um, so as your table um, grows, I think it's um, very helpful to put collections together so that people um, can find them easily. I have earrings all in this tray. I have rings in this tray. I cluster the bracelets together. I have charms here. I have the different necklaces here. 
Down here on this end, I do feature our memoir bracelet and I do share with them how the memoir works and talk to them about how every other link retracts so you can add your charm. And I actually will hold it up for them so they see exactly how that does retract. And I tell them if they purchase it, that the charm needs to go on the opposite side that does retract. So these are just a couple of different things that I say at my parties to the hostesses and the customers just to give them um, a feel of how they can use our jewelry and just have a little bit of information about it. Um, one other thing that I talk about is with the necklaces, the different charms. One is fabulous, two is good, three is excellent because we always decorate in threes and that's the same for your jewelry. So odd numbers are great there. And I show them different things, for example, on the longer pieces because these are more expensive pieces. I will take the time to explain that you can wear this sterling silver, black onyx and labradorite piece this way, or you can double it or you can actually do much like a piece that we've just released in our new collection. Um, you can actually hook the lobster clasp in front and have it hang down this way. That look is super on trend too. So when we can come up with different things to share with them, it kind of just is a little bit more exciting. So those are again, just a couple of the tips that I have to do at my parties when I'm sharing the jewelry with everyone. And I hope that I've helped you out and maybe given you something else to say at your parties um, to facilitate more fun. So I look forward to meeting everybody at Shine and thank you for watching.